Okay. Well, it's December 29th, 2009, and coming to the end of another year, another depressing year for me, stuck here in England. No loved ones around me at Christmas time, facing another new year, another happy new year. <sighs> yeah, just come from the bathroom. One of my housemates has done a Yuletide log, a Christmas turd, in the in the toilet there. It's just floating, not going anywhere. I mean, I tried flushing it three times today, and no joy. Just floating there, just sitting there, lifeless. So yeah, pretty boring Christmas for me. I mean, no Janice, my wife. No contact from her, no contact from my son. Didn't even get a phone call from my dad. So, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty low, you know. And, you know, I'm sorry I haven't posted a video for ages. You know, it's just kind of, things have been getting on top of me. and I've been hibernating a bit and disappearing inside my shell. And, yeah, so, I don't know, no gifts for me. Well, I say that, I mean, I know she purchased this guitar for myself. See this? Cost me five pounds. Quite a, uh, quite a good deal, I thought. It's, uh, you know, I don't really play guitar, but, um, you know, I just thought maybe it might e ease the boredom, you know. And uh, my music teacher at school, Mr. McDonald, actually, uh, high school, taught me a song from uh, from Willy Walker and you know it's when he's dancing around with the Oompa Loompas and the candy bars and he goes come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination take a look and you'll see inside your imagination we'll begin with a spin you know the one you know cool. And the only other song that I know is um, this little ditty that I wrote for Janice when we were first dating. And it goes, you got only you. I need you more than food. You mean the world to me. Cause you Pretty bored, lonely. Not even my flatmates are home. In fact, well, it's not true. I think Marcus, Marcus is in the house. Heard him moving around. You know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll just go and see if Marcus is in. You know, see if we can have a Christmas chit chat with one of my housemates. I think he's here. Oh, I have a PlayStation. Hey, Marcus. Hey, man. Hello, man. How's it going? Too you, uh, how are you? Playing golf. Yeah, yeah. On the PlayStation. Mm hmm. That's right. What is that, like Tiger Woods golf? Yeah, yeah, Tiger Woods golf. Oh, yeah, so right. he's been in. Bit of trouble recently, huh? The uh, with uh, the whole adultery thing. So, you mind if I just chill with you for for, for a minute, like just hang, oh. hang here, just you know, just it's Christmas and you know I'm pretty bored and lonely and I figure you know if you're just like sitting here playing golf, maybe I can take a look. Yeah, yeah. Um, sure. What? Why, why do you want to play? Okay, well, well, no, I mean I don't really believe in PlayStation. I think that, you know, PlayStations were invented by the Illuminati as a kind of mind control technique to keep people 
in their homes and to influence kids and, you know, their decisions and what they do and stuff, you know, that Grand Theft Auto, things like that, you know, it's kind of... Okay, then. Okay, so... Um, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, so, you know, how's your Christmas been? I mean, you know? Oh, Christmas? Yeah, it's been good for you. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. Mm. It was all right. Got to see family and friends, so everything. Can you pass up? Uh, oh, you got a, got a doobie. Oh, yeah. You're well, getting, uh, getting high? Uh, yeah, a little lighter here and some. Uh, just something to, you know. So I don't really cool, so Can much. I maybe, maybe, maybe have some of that? Oh, uh, I did know you smoke. Yeah, 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 I smoke, yeah. Just, you know, but, you know I don't, we, don't, we don't hang out enough. I, don't, I think maybe we should hang out some more. Oh, thanks, man. That's yeah. cool. What is this? Like, uh, chronic? Or? Yeah, skunk. I don't know, you might call it chronic in America, but... Go like chronic, like Dr. Dre and... Things like that. You know, yeah. you see real... You know, I don't, I don't know. But, um... You know, I was just playing a song upstairs, and if you heard me on my guitar... I heard something. Oh, yeah, I heard some guitar playing. Playing but... some uh, guitar up there. It's a song from, um... Willy Wonka. You know Willy Wonka? Yeah, a little chocolate factory. Yeah, Willy Wonka. What song was that? And, uh, you know, do you think there, maybe, there might be a black Willy Wonka one day? Why? Well, you know, why not? I mean, yeah, the book, you know, he's, gotta, he's white, isn't he? Yeah, book. but, you know, this, this big, you know, big, big cries to have, oh, let's have a black James Bond. We've got a black president, you know, let's have a... Black Willy Wonka, maybe, you know, I don't know, Wesley Snipes or someone could, could play him. What do you think? Um, yeah, when he gets out of jail, maybe, yeah. Is he in jail? Well, he's, he's, a, he's, he's in the camp. Well, Ford or something, I don't know, mm. but um, tax things or something like that. Well, I suppose if you had a black Willy Wonka, you'd have to have, like, I don't know, different colored... Oompa Loompas, like the Oompa Loompas in the film were orange, like a, like they've been on a sunbed. But, uh, you know, if, if you were to have a black Willy Wonka, maybe you should have, like, I don't know. Like a purple? Like, purple. Yeah, well, they were kind of purple, they had purple hair, I think, but, you know, I think maybe you could have, like, a, I don't know, a blue or yellow or whatever, you know, but then yellow, once you get into the yellow area, you know, you kind of, you know, that's a stereotype for Chinese people, and, you know, that's, that's a dangerous area. So. Well, why not? If you got a black Woody Wonka, you might as well have Chinese and Columbus. If you're going to start thinking like that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I suppose it's a fantasy still, so I suppose you could. Um, it's a fantasy. It is a fantasy. If, so. we're, if we're hanging out and stuff down here, yeah, mm. what's the camera going to be on there? Well, no, you know, I just like to document my 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 life. You know, I don't, you know, as you know, I'm, I'm a stranger here in this town and I don't have a lot of friends. I know, you know, you, you live here, so you you got your, your crew you hang with and that. And for me, you know, I don't really have anyone, so I just like to, you know, tape my conversations with people and put them on, uh, on a plane and send them to my wife, so. Right, okay. You've been doing that for a while now, haven't you? Yeah. So you've been a stranger here for a while now. Mm, yeah. Well, a stranger's normal. You know, you want to hear one of my, one of my songs? I, what? I got this guitar here, and this is one that I wrote for my wife. You know, my wife, uh, you know I'm married. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I never yeah, told yeah, you that before. Yeah, yeah. This is one I, I wrote for my wife. <clears throat> it was, you know, she's left me now, but... So she's your ex-wife? Well, no, it was, oh. you know, no, no divorce. You know, we're still, still technically together, so... Anyway, it goes... You gotta leave. Need you more than 